Most bands are easy to categorize. What you see or hear is what you get. In other words, listen to a couple of songs and you pretty much know what everything else is gonna sound like. Then there's System of a Down. Four guys from Los Angeles playing alternative metal with hints of their Middle Eastern background, folk, prog rock, jazz, and even Greek. They have a playfulness that's nothing like their counterparts in the new metal genre, yet this cloud of humor is incensed with the seriousness of geopolitics and philosophy. As Rolling Stone magazine put it, if System of a Down ain't Noam Chomsky, it sure ain't Limbiscuit's Nookie either. Of all their traits though, it's probably the family ties of all four of its members to the country of Armenia that separates them from any old regular metal band. It's the country's musical history, its heritage, and its suffering that bonds all four members together and what gives the band such a unique sound. On the outset, it feels like they're trying to be too many things at once. So what is it that makes System of a Down so damn great? Wake up! When System of a Down released their self-titled debut album in 1998, the world didn't quite know what to make of them, but the unpredictability, the circus-like style to the band drew in a lot of local attention, and it's what made them such a hit on the Sunset Strip in LA's music scene as they were coming up in the early to mid-90s. The music is so fucking original, the shit is so goddamn original. They got their big break by catching the ear of super producer Rick Rubin at a 200-person sold-out Viper Room show in LA. I laughed the whole time. It was the funniest thing I'd ever seen, but in a good way. It was just so over the top and so extreme, like Armenian folk dancing with heavy metal riffs and, um, you know, wild political lyrics and screaming. It was just, it was crazy music. After that Viper Room show, Ruben happily offered the band a record deal on his American Recordings label. The group's self-titled 1998 debut was a striking, startling combination of speed metal juxtaposed against Mediterranean melodies. It's easy to Monday morning quarterback it and wonder why they weren't signed and promoted sooner, but no one had any context for a band like this before. You can't fault people in the record industry for not knowing what to do with a band when their first single, for example, Sugar, mixes jazz-style drums and Cookie Monster growls about kombucha mushroom people. With their first album, you hear a much more rough-around-the-edges new metal sound, but what would come to define them and differentiate them was already evident in their family ties to Armenia. They showed an inventiveness in combining that metal sound with their heritage. Out of control, boy, without a with their sophomore record 2001's Toxicity, System of a Down became more dynamic, really showing off how talented the band was musically and well-rounded. Not only did they sound different than everything else, from track to track, System hardly even sound like the same band. It was a bold move to tie in their Armenian influence to their sound. Middle Eastern music is more melody-based, aka modal, as opposed to Western music, which is more harmony-based, aka tonal. An example is the song Hypnotize, where they toggle back and forth between major and minor modes, giving the melody a distinctive sound. There's even hints of Eastern Europe in some of their tracks, as evident in the polka-inflected radio video. They didn't have the rhythms that you'd hear in a typical, you know, you wouldn't hear a Metallica rhythm You'd hear a system of a down rhythm, which was different. Dun, 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 dun. Like different gallops. They took elements from folk music and brought that into heavy metal. Their background with family ties to the Middle East has also flavored what they're writing about in their lyrics. Throughout their career, in interviews and their songs, they've brought up the 1915 Armenian Genocide and the fact that it has been swept under the rug and that Turkey doesn't recognize it as a mass murder event. In 2021, System released their first new music in more than a decade in response to recent acts of terrorism done by Azerbaijan and Turkey towards the Armenian people. I mean, how many people even knew of the Armenian genocide before a mainstream band like System of a Down started talking about it and infusing it in their songs? The genocides affected all of us, our families and, and, and our losses. And it's not just having to do with Armenians, it has to do with genocide still occurring now, and it has to do with the fact that there's still not any executable international uh, response to any genocide that might happen right now. 
It's crazy to think, but System of a Down have only put out five studio albums in their 28-year career and haven't released a full-length album since 2005's Mesmerize Hypnotize. Even then, they have emerged well past their so-called new metal counterparts, their songs have proven to be timeless, and their popularity has steadily grown over the years. System in a lot of ways had a contradictory sound. It can sound both incredibly juvenile and surprisingly mature. As Darren said in an interview, we like to stay on that verse-chorus type of tradition, except sometimes the verse will be a waltz and the chorus will be hardcore. By embracing their Armenian heritage instead of hiding it, they had to break the so-called rules of heavy metal. No one before sounded like System of a Down, and no one really since. But as Rick Rubin said, they transcended not fitting in. And those are the best artists. Those are the revolutionary bands, and those are the ones that change the world. When angels deserve to die!